fire, although still one of the greatest hazards of our civilization, is efficiently countered today by the skill and courage of fire brigades throughout the country. Yet few people realize the number of other jobs that fall to the fireman with his special training and ability, like calls to cases of drowning. Too often the call comes to assist police in recovering bodies, but today lives are being saved thanks to the foresight of East Ham Fire Brigade, who have introduced Frogman Farmen. The advantages of having a frogman unit at the station are that firemen have already received training in the use of breathing apparatus for their normal work, simplifying their training on underwater sets, the facilities and equipments they have, and the tremendous speed of mobilization. Let's go along now on a reconstruction of a typical call to the docks. Often by the time they receive their call, a person may have been immersed for some time. But the unit never relaxes for a moment, spurred by the knowledge that people have been underwater for up to an hour or more, yet successfully resuscitated. The frogmen, in this case Farman James Tate, Farman Ken Jenkins, begin their search for a locker reported to have fallen in King George V dock. They work to a prearranged plan for combing the area, because only two feet below the surface is complete blackness, and they have to work 30 feet down. When the person, in this case a dummy you'll be glad to know, is found, an inflatable special type life jacket is hooked through the clothing and the body brought to the surface. By this method, much heavier weights are lifted than would normally be possible. After the body has been recovered, artificial respiration is applied immediately using the latest type of rocking stretcher, a system that explains itself in action. The unit's first call was in May 1957, when a limpet mine was reported at the SS Theodor Herzl, leaving West India on her maiden voyage with several VIPs on board. Chief Officer Frank Rushbrook, the frogman's founder, went down himself, searched the underside and gave clearance. A dangerous job, but carried out without fuss and bother. A tribute to Britain's first frogman farmer.